Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People. And today we'll be reviewing Transformers Robots in Disguise, Bumblebee. And we got Bumblebee in the house. This is my first Robots in Disguise Bumblebee. As you know, he's got visible under Kevl. But from the up right of the car mode, it doesn't look half bad. It's a good looking car mode. It rolls very good. And this is an old figure by today's standards. They don't make this guy anymore, which is cool. Then I got this guy for a really good price. And he's good looking. Car mode is stunning. I love it. But now we're going to get down to transformations. I don't have any vehicle mode comparisons. Most of my comparisons will be in robot mode. So let's transform him. Very simple. Flip out his feet. Get him folded out like that. Just connect his arms. Push him up. Fold this panel back. Rotate his legs around. Split the legs. And straighten out his arms. And there we got Bumblebee in his robot mode. And in the Transformers Robots in Disguise cartoon, Bumblebee was the leader of a team of Autobots on Earth. Which included Strong Arm, Side Swipe, and Grimlock, and Fix It. And then Optimus Prime was resurrected, and another team of Autobots was created as well with Ratchet, Bumblebee, not, not Bumblebee, Ratchet, Windblade, Bulkhead, Jazz, under Prime's command, which was cool. But this is a good looking representation of that character, Bumblebee. And I gave you a good bio on him, so let's give him the weapon I have, since I don't have his original weapon. But now he's wielded the sword, and he's like, take this, Decepticons. Yeah! Slash. But now we're going to get down to some comparisons. You're on the channel. Here is Sideswipe, next to Bumblebee, with a sword I just gave him. Followed by Windblade, another Robots in Disguise character, which I'm giving her her sword. Her sword just popped loose out of her hand. So here we got Windblade as well. You can see these with clear light or flicking on the flashlight. But there are the Autobot comparisons. Next we'll have to do a Decepticon comparison next to this. Robots in Disguise, Combiner Force, Menasaur. Why not? Soundwave, because he showed up. Septicon, he's most fighting all the time, is Steel Jaw. Septicon Skywarp, which he never appeared in the show, but they made a figure of him. Why not? But now I'm going to get group shot with all the bots I own from Transformers Robots in Disguise. Which I have never done. I haven't done this in a while. So we got Menasaur, Steeljaw, Skywarp, Soundwave, because he's Soundwave. Sideswipe. And... Windblade, if I can get her blade back in her hand. Her blade just doesn't want to stay in her hand here. But there is my entire collection of Transformers. Robots in disguise. As of 2023. And I don't have the complete set yet. There's still quite a few bots I want to get. I want to get Steeljaw's crew. I want to get Starscream. I want to get Strongarm. Grimlock and fix it. Who else am I missing? Oh, yeah. I want to get Megatronus. And that's about it for all the robots of disguised Decepticons I could see myself picking up. And are Transformers Robots in Disguise worth adding to your collection? 
I'd say yes. It's a fun line of toys and a good series. I know I haven't watched in a while, but given I gave you a deep bio on these guys, including Bumblebee, I'm glad I can review this guy here on the channel finally, because I've been wanting Bumblebee for a very long time. And I'm just glad to finally own him in my collection of Robots in Disguise. He will always be number one in my collection right now for Bumblebees. And that's all there is to say for this review. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.